I'm Ashley Woodruff. And I'm Rob Murphy. And this is Shahira. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Canadian, Canadian Beats. Beats. Hi everyone, Linda Heldman here for Canadian Beats. I'm here today with Ashley Woodruff and Rob Murphy, but primarily for Ashley because she is the artiste. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome Ashley, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Good, good. Uh, you just did an acoustic song for us, which sounded absolutely lovely. Thank you. Uh, we'll talk about the song in a few minutes, uh, but tell us a little bit about yourself and your music. Well, I was born and raised here in Sudbury, Ontario. I've been singing since I was about seven, actually, and started writing songs around the same time. Um, yeah, you know, growing up in elementary, I'd perform at talent shows things like that. I started releasing song covers online and all the positive feedback was kind of motivation to start writing my own stuff. And, and yeah, actually, me and, me and Rob actually met. He stumbled upon my stuff on Facebook one day. He was scrolling through his feed and he liked what he heard, so he sent me a message and that's how we started working together. Great, huh. great. Now, Rob, you, you actually teach music, if I recall, That's right? That's correct, yes. Do, yes, and you've been around in the Sudbury music scene for <clears throat> far too many decades that we'll yeah, talk about, right? Just, <laughs> 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 no, it's been a, I've had a good career, I have to admit, and I work with some amazing artists over the years. Um, Ashley's album is my 17th album Oh credit. my, my, that's good. And you play all the keyboards on, on the album. I did all the instruments on the album. Great, great. Ashley, do you play any instruments? I don't. I actually just sing. Oh, yeah. well, that's yeah. okay. If you're going to do one thing, do, a, do it well. I'm very lucky to have Rob. <laughs> He's a multi-instrumentalist, so... <laughs> great. Okay, uh, so you just released your self-titled debut album yes, back I in did. November. Yes. And uh, our Melissa Wiseman just reviewed that. Yes. Uh, she had nothing but good things to say about it. And and I actually liked her, her closing comment. Um, the album is worth giving a listen to. Given that this is, was a debut album, I look forward to seeing what else Ashley Woodruff has planned for the future. So those are very, very encouraging yes. words. Very. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the writing process for the album and uh, your inspiration for the songs that you chose for this. Well, the writing, as for the writing process, um, songs kind of just come to me, whether it's a line of a song, I think, oh, this would be really good for a chorus or really good for the verse, and I kind of expand upon that. So I wrote all of the lyrics and the melodies, and Rob, me and he helped me write the instrumentals, and he produced the album, actually. So, yeah, that's kind of how my process is. They kind of just come to me out of nowhere. <laughs> I actually, I work at Tim Hortons and um, as the Northern Life reported, I did an interview with them. I was on, even on sandwich counter drive through I get these random ideas. And, <laughs> <laughs> and Ashley would come to me with just a melody and lyrics. Mm -hmm. And because she doesn't play piano or guitar, I had to kind of get inside her brain and figure out, okay, where is this song going because she couldn't tell me where like whether mm -hmm. it was a, a G D A B flat here right so I had to kind of pick her brain and say okay which direction are, do you want this song to go in and it was a lovely experience working with her great great sort of bringing uh, what what's in her head to life exactly by what she, how she's telling you she hears it yeah so is it pretty true to what you heard in your head definitely like he's so good at that i'm so thankful to be working Thank with you. rob great. You're welcome great uh now you have a single that's being released from this album i do yes um where did the time go actually the the song that i sang earlier mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the acoustic song on the album, and we were actually able to use a 12 string for that. I really like the fuller sound, and it's more like simplistic, it's more about the story, just guitar and voice, so I really like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you wrote that from personal experience being in school? And I did, yeah. I feel like everybody could kind of relate to the nostalgia. Everybody kind of looks back once in a while, and mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, even me being much older than you. <laughs> I, can, I can think back to, to the days of being in school myself and you know having that, that uh, crush on, on one of the cute boys yeah. or whatever. And yeah. 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 It's good. All right. 
So you've been performing a lot around Sudbury, I've noticed. Yes. Where are some of the places you've been performing? Um, well, Fusions Bar and Restaurant. Um, little Montreal, we performed at Cousin Vinny's for a fundraiser a little while back. We're also back there this Friday. This Friday. Fusions and, on Saturday. Yeah, Fusions this Saturday. Just several places, and I love it. I really enjoy performing, being on stage. Great. Yeah. That says a lot about you as an artist, if local places are picking you up and repeatedly having you back. Yes. So you must be doing something right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And the turnout's pretty good for those as well. Yeah. It's been excellent. The, the response good. for the album, for our shows, is just phenomenal these days. Even um, our release party on December 15th, we had an excellent turnout. Excellent. It was at Little Montreal, and I was such a great night. I was so happy. So sorry I missed that. I had the invitation, and December was just a crazy busy oh, month. It's okay. Back and forth, Toronto, wow. Sudbury. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely <laughs> understand. <laughs> so, um, so you have a video that you're doing for yes. this song. You said it's in, in the process. Yes. Great, great. Is there a theme, like you're going to be at a school type thing, walking around? and? Well, actually, one of the, I guess, kind of scenes in the video, there is lockers behind me. I really wanted to bring that high school kind of vibe into the music video. Good. Yes. Good. Nice. Okay, and do you have, plan, have a follow-up planned for a single? I'm, to tell you the truth, I'm not completely sure what my next single will be off of the album, but I am really excited for this one to be released. Great, great, okay. And where can we hear this? Is this being released to radio at all, or is it strictly online, or...? Well, the music video is going to be released onto YouTube in two weeks, two Mondays, I believe that's the 22nd. So, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's going to be on YouTube then. Good. Good. We at Canadian Beat strongly support our Canadian artists. And a question that we like to ask is, who do you draw inspiration from when it comes to Canadian artists? When it comes to Canadian artists, I to love to support Canadian music. A couple of my favorite ones are Rhea May or Serena Ryder. I really love their music. They're both really talented yes. artists. Yes, very, for very sure. talented in very different ways. Um, Serena, uh, her her Great songwriter. Oh, just incredible. And for me, absolutely incredible. I'm a Rush fan. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, no country in this room other than me, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so, what does the rest of 2018 look like for you? I see. Lots of music for 2018, lots more performances, just filled with music. Great. Yeah. She's great. an extremely determined girl. I will tell you that. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely determined. So, like, um, she improves at a skyrocketing pace. If I've ever told her, you know, this needs to change, it's done. Mm hmm. So I call her the queen of self-improvement. <laughs> <laughs> well, the only way we get better is to keep progressing, yeah. Definitely. changing, just tweaking those little little things that might not be quite, quite where they really need hard. to be. <laughs> I think constructive criticism is very important to become better. Mm -hmm. Sure, I think mm -hmm. that's important to take and to work on if you mm -hmm. get that. And especially, it's, it's a fine line between what you hear on, on record and what you present to your audience yes. and engaging with that audience. For sure. Um, I find a lot of artists, especially the new ones, don't engage enough with their audiences. So I, I'm interested in seeing you perform live to see how well you do that. I feel like I, I am getting better at that, but it's definitely different than recording behind closed mm -hmm. doors, being in front of an audience. So that's definitely something that's learned through experience. Exactly. Which I feel I am getting better at and I still have improvement, but just something I have to keep working on. Right, right. Okay. And you have a website and Facebook and Twitter and Instagram yes, and all those all, great things. Yes. We will add those to the post when this all goes, great. goes up. Well, Ashley, thank you so much for joining us. And before we wrap up, is there anything else you'd like to add? Stay tuned for 2018. There's a lot to come. Take a listen to the album and come out to one of our shows. You're always welcome. Awesome. Rob, anything you'd like to add? 
my daughter just got home. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. We've been speaking with Ashley Woodruff and Rob Murphy. Uh, please check out Ashley's album on Spotify. And if you like it, please purchase it and follow her on her socials. Thank you so much. I'm Linda Helpman. Canadian Beats. Canadian Beats.